With cryptocurrencies growing more and more in popularity, it's easy to see why there's a buzz around graphics cards, which are a remarkable technological achievement of mankind and may perform incredible calculations. Graphics cards are in many computers, but top of the line cards are designed for graphic designers, gamers, and multimedia enthusiasts. A video game's graphics require an unthinkable amount of calculations for processing like depth, trajectory, vertex coordinates, and face coordinates, something only a graphics card can handle. It's for this exact reason graphics cards are used for cryptocurrency mining, which requires an enormous number of calculations to track and verify transactions on blockchain technology. The workings of graphics cards rely on translating binary code from the computer's central processing unit, or CPU, to color in on-screen pixels. But most of the body of a graphics card is used to cool the huge amount of heat generated by the GPU, or graphics processing unit. Here is where the magic happens. Unlike a CPU, which has a small number of cores to perform more complex operations, the GPU goes for quantity over quality. GPUs may have hundreds of cores to process more simple information that enters in bulk, for example, all the coordinates of a 3D image. Like computers, which use random access memory to hold temporary memory while tasks are processed, a graphics card also uses RAM to store temporary information, like from completed pictures. The RAM hands over the information to a digital-to-analog converter to send an analog signal to the monitor for its screen. If you've got the big bucks to drop on a graphics card, you could go about the task of installing one. It's as simple as locating the Peripheral Component Interconnect, or PCI Express slot, on the computer's motherboard, plugging in the graphics card, plugging in the monitor cables, and installing the latest driver software. Application programming interfaces also need to be installed, which act as middlemen for communication between software, or instructions, and the graphics card's hardware, or its physical components. Just make sure the motherboard is up to the task for all that energy consumption though, and the CPU is advanced enough to match your graphics card. An out-of-date CPU coupled with an advanced graphics card wouldn't be great, because performance is limited to what either may be able to handle. Graphics cards have come a long way since the first one launched in 1981 by IBM, which could only provide a display for text on a black screen. Even so, the need to support better and better graphics for gaming means graphics cards will continue to advance.